Happy New Year to everybody. Um, we spoke about, you know, finishing 2022 strong and wanting to start 2023 strong and um, in front of our home fans and we did that today. Um, obviously pleasing for me, icing on the cake to get a clean sheet and to add five goals to it was excellent. Uh, obviously Josh coming back and scoring a hat-trick is every, any achievement by any player to get a hat-trick is a special moment. So to get that today and to win in the manner that we did, I'm very, very pleased. How pleased are you with how clinical we were today? Because you can be dominant as, as much as you want, but if you're not putting the ball in the back of the net, it doesn't, doesn't count for anything. Yeah, and, and we always try and pride ourselves on, on scoring goals. And um, we always felt, you know, if we get people in the positions, which I keep saying, we believe they'll score. Uh, and that was the case today. Um, I thought they worked hard. Um, I thought to come out of nine points in the Christmas and New Year period was really pleasing. It's what we set out to do and it's what we've achieved. Um, so all round today um, was excellent from the players. Uh, and as I said, you know, I'm really pleased with the, with the showing today. And it's something to build on top of and keep moving forward. Into the top two, two now as well. That's got to be a positive thing for everyone psychologically as well going into the, the rest of the season. Yes, I mean, I mean, at that stage of the season, to, to you know, to move up a place, it's always nice. But you know, I keep reiterating to the to the players and you know to all the fans, and that we'll just keep focusing on us and making sure that we're the best version of ourselves. Uh, we wanted to come out today and be competitive. We wanted to be on the front foot, which we did. We started the game very, very early. We got a we got a real quick fire goal. Always really pleased that you know we we, we felt Cambridge would try and sit in with a low block and try and probably catch us on the counter. Um, so to score the early goal, it kind of disrupts their plans and it gives us real momentum. And I thought from the early goal, we just built on top of that. We had to be patient in the game at times, keep moving the ball and sort of wait for um, sort of their defensive structure and find gaps in it really, which you could then exploit. And which was good. So, so all around, it was a good day. I was able to use the subs. I was able to change it up a bit and give freshen it up with one or two legs on the pitch. So all, all around, um, a real pleasing day. Yeah, you mentioned the positives of the substitutions as well. They almost go under the radar. It's a league debut for your Shipston. Akin's first appearance at Hillsborough and, and Dennis back on the pitch as well. Yeah, Dennis and Akin both uh, back from injury, but had to be patient and wait for their chance. Uh, they've got the right sufficient volume. They'd have, they'd have had 15 or 20 minutes out there, which is good for them in a competitive game. Uh, and young Rio Shipton, which we've uh, eulogised about in, in, in our FA Youth Cup and him as a youngster coming through. And um, I'm really pleased for him. He deserved his, his debut um, this afternoon. And I thought, I thought he showed neat touches and intelligence to his play. Um, and he's certainly one that if he keeps going under a uh, projection ladder, um, then we can see certainly one of our own here at the football club and develop into a real, real special talent. So I'm really pleased for him. Uh, but today was a, was, a, was a good day for everybody here at Sheffield Wednesday and a good three points.